Hey, hello everyone, it's Nashi, the conservative gamer here. We are here back for another farm. We're doing boring leather today, and we got a good one for you. The best place in the game to farm boring leather, in my opinion, is inside Ruby Sanctum. Now, to get to Ruby Sanctum, you can take the new Dalaran portal, or the portal in New Dalaran, to Wormrest Temple here in Northrend. You get ported to the top, you can just fly all the way down into here. And the instance that you're looking for is the northeastern corner one, which is up here, which is actually to your left. And what you want to do is make sure you're set on the legacy raid of 25 man normal. Now, normal and heroic don't matter for this one, but the important thing is making sure it's on 25 man because there are more mobs in the 25 man. You know you're in the correct one, other than the fact that it says Ruby Sanctum at the top, is if everything is green and kind of on fire. So you want to go through here, you just pull these packs. The packs are kind of in these kind of sub-corners, and they pat through here or through the bosses. But there's three bosses in here, and then a, a fourth one will spawn. Do not pull any of the bosses in here, so you can keep resetting this dungeon. So what you want to do is just kill them all, obviously, and then skin away. Now, if you can't do this uh, with a max level 120 and you don't have a really high level and it's taken a while, what you could do is actually downgrade it to the 10 man, which is okay, and it still makes it pretty much the most powerful one. Basically, you'll just go through this map just like this. You'll enter, you go down, pull everything, go down here, pull everything, go over here, pull everything, go over here, pull everything. Now, the greens you get from here... Unless they sell for really good transmog, which a couple of Northrend items still sell all right for the transmog, I would send them to an alt character that has enchanting and disenchant it, and you could possibly get more money from the dust from disenchanting it than just vendoring everything. To be most efficient at uh, being able to make gold while you're doing other things on the side in farming, definitely send your greens to be disenchanted, because the dust still sells very well. Now let me go ahead and show you where on the outside world you want to farm because it's right over here in Storm Peaks. It's not too far away. Alrighty, we're back here again. So the best place to farm the boring leather outside, and you also get chances at getting the, I believe they're called Arctic Furs as well, which is a blue skinning mat, is the right here in Storm Peaks in the area called Terrace of Makers. Now, you can get these dragons, uh, all these uh, woolly rhinos, they, they walk in packs, uh, and basically you can just go around this center thing and just skin everything. Now, they're a little bit farther apart, but they do walk in packs, and there are some dragons, and the more you kill, obviously the more will respawn, because I believe some of these are for a quest, so they, they respawn fairly quickly. Again, this is probably one of the better spots outside of a dungeon, but basically all the great spots are inside dungeons or raids. The best spot is the Ruby Sanctum. Another bonus spot is inside Zul'Durak, right here in Gundrak, where there are snakes. Inside Gundrak and inside Ruby Sanctum are the best, Ruby Sanctum being the best because they give you multiple leathers per. But other than that, out here in Storm Peaks is my is my favorite right around the center here and it's also closer to where you get the old Dalaran so you can get there faster but definitely inside Wormrest Temple the Ruby Sanctum that's the best place to farm boring leather I want to thank everyone today for a watch and don't forget to like and subscribe I'm gonna keep these farm videos going for uh, until I run out of them basically I guess Cataclysm is the next one we'll move on to, so we'll be getting to those uh, leathers in there. I think there's only kind of one and a half and some sub-leathers that we may go over, but there are some great places to farm some leather in Cataclysm, and we'll get to the next one. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Me, Nashi, the Conservative Gamer, you guys have a great one. Peace.